When patients hear a specialist referred to as an allergist and immunologist, most think only about the treatment of allergies and asthma. However, we are also specially trained to identify and treat disorders affecting the immune system. While immune deficiencies are rare, there have been more than 150 distinct immune deficiency syndromes that have been identified. This makes appropriate diagnosis and treatment by an allergist and immunologist very important. Patients with primary immune deficiencies are born missing one or several of the body's immune responses, making them more susceptible to the germs that cause infection. This also leaves patients at increased risk for severe or complicated infection. Patients with primary immune deficiencies often go undiagnosed as most of these syndromes do not have unique symptoms of their own. Serious primary immune deficiencies are typically apparent in infancy. In milder forms, however, it may take a pattern of recurrent infection before a diagnosis of primary immune deficiency is suspected. Families and doctors are often unaware that the troublesome conditions with which they are dealing are actually rooted in a defect in the immune system. These disorders typically present as ordinary infections of the ears, sinuses, and lungs. They may also be associated with gastrointestinal symptoms and inflammation of the joints. Signs that may indicate a primary immune deficiency include recurrent, unusual, or difficult to treat infections, especially recurrent or chronic sinusitis, ear infections, or pneumonias. Infections that require multiple courses of antibiotics or IV antibiotics to clear poor weight gain, failure to thrive, or unexplained weight loss. Recurrent deep-seated abscesses of the organs or skin. Chronically swollen lymph nodes or an enlarged spleen. Personal history of autoimmune disorder or a family history of primary immune deficiency. An example of primary immune deficiency is selective IgA deficiency. This is also the most common of the primary immune deficiency syndromes. Patients with selective IgA deficiency do not have enough of a circulating blood protein called immunoglobulin A, or IgA. IgA helps to protect against infection of the mucous membranes lining the mouth, respiratory tract, and digestive tract. Many patients with IgA deficiency also have allergies and asthma. Another more prevalent antibody deficiency is called Common Variable Immune Deficiency, or CVID. In addition to having low circulating antibody levels, patients with CVID have difficulty making protective antibodies to routine vaccinations, making them more susceptible to infection. Treatments for primary immune deficiencies are available and may include prophylactic antibiotics or immunoglobulin replacement therapy, which may be given as an IV or subcutaneous infusion. These treatments can help boost the immune systems of patients who do have primary immune deficiency syndromes. And most of these patients with treatment can go on to live normal lives. If you or your child suffers from recurrent or chronic infections, or infections that don't respond readily to conventional therapies such as antibiotics, please make an appointment to talk with one of our board certified immunologists.